What's up, everybody? We're back this week to talk about how to build the best digital front end for your stereo system. Before we get started, I do want to give a special thanks to Trent Suggs and Alan Hager of Audio Research. They really showed everyone what Audio Research is about. It was an amazing event. Hopefully, if you guys didn't make it this time, we'll see you next time. Digital playback has changed the audio world. There's nothing easier than going on Tidal or Quobuzz, selecting a song, and immediately hearing it through your stereo system. For us audiophiles, music lovers, the real question is, how do I maximize the quality of that playback? So let's start with sources. You have CD transports, you have digital downloads, and you have streaming. The best CD players I've heard, like the Luxman D10X or the T plus A PDT 3100HV, have found a way to get rid of some of that glassy, kind of analytical computer sound and instead what you hear is really beautiful clarity and depth in the sound stage. I tend to group the next two categories together meaning your digital downloads and streaming and that's really because you tend to play them through the same device so if you have digital downloads you're playing it through a streamer and that streamer is also able to access music services like Tidal or Quobus. In a lot of cases, we recommend Blue Sound. It's a really easy, convenient solution, especially for beginners or people that are just getting into some of the, the high res audio. It all works on your phone. You're able to access Tidal and Quobus. You're able to access a local music library that's on a NAS or a USB stick. And, you know, on top of all that, you're able to have a Blue Sound system in every room in your house. A product like a render takes everything that you can do with Blue Sound to an entirely new level. With features like linear power supplies, their legendary caching system for playback, and an overall design focused on the highest quality output possible. I mean, we're talking about dedicated USB audios, double isolated ethernets. This machine is a computer that's specifically built for audio playback. The way you access your music is really important, but ones and zeros don't come out of your speaker, right? So that's where a DAC comes into play. You must have a high quality digital analog converter in your system to make sure your speakers are doing everything they can to replicate what that artist originally intended. Berkeley Audio Designs focuses exclusively on DACs. They make three products. One is a USB interface, one is the Berkeley Audio Alpha DAC, and one is the Berkeley Audio Reference DAC. Both of these DACs are top of their class in reproduction. They are the definition of studio quality sound. They're unbelievably detailed without sounding analytical, without sounding computer-like. They keep that emotion and feel in the music, which is what really captures people's attention. This is a really big selling point for me because I want to be able to hear the clarity and detail without feeling like something has been taken away from the music. And, and that's a lot of times what happens in digital production, in my opinion. But when you pair a Berkeley with an render, you get everything that you want out of a digital recording. Berkeley makes DACs that are unbelievably detailed, but they still capture that emotion and the feeling that artists have in all of their music. This is a big selling point for me personally. When I sit in my listening chair, I want it to be really detailed. I wanna hear depth in the sound stage and beautiful imaging. I wanna hear what sounds like the artist like breathing into the microphone, but I wanna make sure that it captures the emotion and the artistry that that musician has included somewhere in that album. To achieve the best sound through a digital system, you're gonna need high quality interconnects. You're gonna need high speed Wi-Fi. You're gonna need great great speakers and great, am great amplifiers, but let's start simple. Let's start with your source. Check out the features of a product like the Arinder N30SA. SA meaning state of the art, and that's exactly what it is. When you pair a product like that with a Berkeley Reference 3, it will blow your mind how good digital playback can sound. If products like that are out of your budget, that's all right. You can scale back, focus on the features that you need, and still get amazing playback. For anybody that's looking to jump into turntables, next week we're gonna go in depth as to how to incorporate vinyl and turntables into your stereo system. Also, right now we're having a big sale on all the TX series Series rails. So give us a shout, check out our newsletter if you're looking at adding a subwoofer to your system. Thanks for tuning in everybody.
everybody. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Nick's got some cool stuff up on the Instagram. Go check it out.